to Coney Island. We're gonna eat a lot of food. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it is. We're walking the Brooklyn Bridge right now and it's hella windy. It's a beautiful day, but it's hella windy. Look at that view though. I know the view the view is ridiculous. Check it out. Got the Freedom Tower and the Statue of Liberty and then the bridge. It really can't get better. Reagan's laughs. This is where Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, no, right here, four twenty nine. What are we doing, Dad? Dad. Four thirty. See this 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 one right here? Yeah. This building right here. Remember I always tell you about the old man Otto used to sit in the front and yeah. listen to the ball game right there on that porch. Look right at there. the mounted cop. Yeah. This is where my friend Kevin lived, four thirty nine. Okay. The infamous stoop. And then this is where I lived. Four forty three. Four forty three. Right? There. Right there. Did it have that door? A different door. It had Brooklyn, double doors, baby. Different door. It didn't have the gate there. It had the gate where they went into the basement. We used to keep, you know, the cans were over there. But we were in the back on the first floor here. We were in the back apartment. Oh, you didn't have, it was too bad you didn't have the whole thing. No, we had the back apartment. Um, my aunt, Dot, and Uncle Tom lived up there on the third floor, facing here. Yeah, that was the stoop. It was nice with the fence out there. We used to play box ball here. You'd hit the, you know, throw the ball against the, the stoop here, and be phone. across the street to catch the ball. Get my phone, take a picture. How can you? Security cameras in here. Hey, Dad. Yep. And again. How does hey. it feel to be back at your old apartment? Weird. Yeah? Why weird? Because it's smaller than I remember. <laughs> That's true. But there's a fire hydrant right here. And uh, in the summertime, like when it got really, really, really hot, Grandpa would open it up and spray the water out, you know, so we could. That's like cool. the quintessential city neighborhood yeah, city scene. scene yeah. That's what we did. And you didn't? Did you have a backyard? Wait, so why did you guys move? Had a little bit of a backyard, but nothing really much. Because it was just the apartment, not the whole building. It was too small. I grew it. No, we got evicted. Oh, that's right. Grandpa really did a beautiful job on the apartment, and there was a clause in the lease that said. The landlord could take any apartment in the building he wanted, um, you know, provided he gave whatever was 90 days notice or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he used to come in and talk about our apartment all the time and how nice it was and this and that. And is this guy going to make it? Oh, there's a big van coming, Chuck. Yeah, but not, the van that just went by is bigger, so this guy should make it. Move over, move over. Maybe you should go left, Chuck. That's so sad that you guys were evicted. Yeah, we they That's fought so it. messed up. Well, why didn't you guys just get a, like a house across the street here? There was nothing to rent. And Grandpa, at that, that point, he had gotten it kind of in his head that he wanted to move. Yeah, he was like, all right, might as well just take this opportunity. This is where my friends Jerry and Paul lived. They lived up on the second floor there. It was a two-family house. I got to imagine living that close to your friends. Lived freaking we 20 all, minutes from all my Kevin friends. Kevin was there. Jerry and Paul were here. Across the street was uh, uh, Bobby McLeod, and then he moved from across. It was a big deal. He lived across the street because you had to, like, cross the street. But then he moved on our side of the street a couple of uh, houses up. That's a big deal. It was a big deal, yeah. God, now, now I live literally states apart yeah, from uh, my friends. Like, he lives across the street. Yeah, right? Lives so far. <laughs> this was uh, the Crisco's. Johnny and Chris Crisco lived here. I know. Yeah, my friend Blake lives in freaking Ohio. I used to go 30 minutes. I used to go 30 minutes to see my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, you can get by. Oh my god, imagine. Oh my god, imagine dating a girl in the same neighborhood. Oh, it would be horrible. Oh, you took my mirror off. She's what? Always up there. Nah, you hit. Oh, sorry. I thought I heard something. She just took the mirror off. People are not smart.
get some food. This is the famous cyclone. Got that popo. -po. Yeah. Never thought that we go this far. Don't stop now. Reaching for a distant star. Don't stop now. Isn't it strange to how we're safe from home? To the neck out and dance until the second go. If you're gonna break our shades, you have to let me know. Turn the shit around, just out of top the notes. Cause all you need to do.